In this video, we'll be looking at section 5.2, some extra examples. Now, the key, the, the key to most of these problems is identifying what the angle relationship is. That way, you can set up your equation. So say we're looking at this right here. So we've got these two lines crossed, we've got these points, and then we're told this angle is 2x plus 26, and we're told this angle right here is 4x minus 20. So now, what's the relationship between these angles? Are they complementary, are they supplementary, or are they vertical? We have two angles that are next to each other, and they create the straight angle. So this angle plus this angle creates the straight angle, so they are supplementary. They're supplementary. So I can add them together and it equals 180. Oh, we didn't use what we're trying to find. We're trying to find angle BTC. Okay, so they are supplementary. So we can add them together. I, I just like to put the parentheses so I can see the two different angles. And supplementary, when they add it, when we add them together, it will equal 180. So again, I only use these parentheses to help me identify my two angles. So here's angle one, here's angle two. So now we can drop our parentheses and solve. So we'll combine like terms, 2x plus 4x is 6x, 26 minus 20 is a positive 6, and now I'm just going through my solving motions. Subtract 6 from both sides, now we'll divide by this 6, and we get x equals 174 divided by 6. which is 29. I have not finished the problem. I need to make sure I answered the question. Answer the question. Find BTC. Answer the question. So we got angle BTC is equal to BTC. That's this angle right here. 2x plus 26. Then we plug in our what our x equals. So we have 2 times 29 plus 26. We'll use our handy, handy calculator. 2 times 29 is 58. And then we'll add 26. And we get 84. So I got angle BTC is equal to 84 degrees. Do another one. Again, identifying that relationship is crucial. If you can identify the relationship, then it's easier to set up the equations. And once you have the equation set up, it's easier to solve. So let's say we're given... I'm going to do the given in black. And then I'll do my work in different colors. So here's our given. So 
So this angle we will say is 2x plus 14. And this angle right here we'll say is 5x minus 10. And we want to find angle x, p, y. Remember my vertex point always in the middle. So x to p to y. Okay, so what's the relationship between these angles? Are they supplementary, complementary, or vertical? These angles are, I'm talking about the two that we have an algebraic equation for, so this angle and this angle. These angles are vertical. So we can set them equal to each other. So we'll say 5x minus 10 equals 2x plus 14. And now we solve. 10 to both sides, 5x equals 2x plus 24, subtract 2x from both sides, and we get 3x equals 24, divide by 3, and we get x equals 8. Guess what we got to do next? You got it. Answer the question. Our question was find angle XPY. So we'll say angle XPY is equal to XPY, is this one right here, 2X plus 14, plug in 8, and we simplify. So we have angle XPY is equal to 30 degrees. Do one more example. Example three. Put the given in black. Let's say we have this idea. And we're given these two angles. This angle is 2x plus 26. And this angle right here is... Oh, we need to do this example. Sorry about that. Let's do this example. So we're given this information, we're given this angle right here is 5x plus 12, and then we're given this angle right here is 2x plus 22. And then we're Asked to find angle J and K. Now, what's the angle relationship between these two angles, the two given angles? The two angles are Complementary, they create a right angle. Complementary. So, 
we add them together and they equal 90. So let's say 5x plus 12, that's my first angle, plus my second angle equals 90. So we'll combine like terms, or let's drop our parentheses. Remember I just used the parentheses so I can say my first angle plus my second angle equals 90, just to kind of set, uh, make my angle stand out. Okay, so we dropped the parentheses, and now we're just going through our motions. 5x plus 2x, combining like terms, is 7x, 12 plus 22 is 34, equals 90. And we're just solving for x. 90 minus 34 is 56. Divide by 7, and we get x equals 8. we got to make sure we answer the question. So our question says find J M K. So we're looking for that angle, angle J M K. So angle J M K equals J M K is this angle right here. So we'll go 5x plus 12. Now we plug in x and solve. So angle JMK equals 52 degrees. And there are some extra examples to help us find, to help us solve for supplementary, vertical, and complementary. So thank you very much for watching this video and hope you have a great rest of your day.